Hello, my name is Leland Melvin. I'm an astronaut and a STEAM explorer, science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. When I was a kid, not in my wildest dreams would I have ever imagined myself even trying to be an astronaut because I never really saw anyone that looked like me in space or, you know, maybe the only person I really saw that looked like me was Lieutenant Uhura on Star Trek. And, you know, Gene Roddenberry amazingly was trying to do something that, that brought people from all over the galaxy together, working together um, in, the, in the Federation. And I remember Dr. Martin Luther King, you know, that was the only show that he let his kids watch at night because in, in the Civil Rights Movement, he was trying to do what Gene Roddenberry was doing in Star Trek. So as a kid, my parents exposed me to so many different things. And it was an incredible chemistry set, mixed chemicals together and made explosions, built bicycles, helped my dad build a camper. So this hands-on experiential activities as kids to give them this uh, STEM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics programs to help them have the curiosity and, and creativity to be or do anything they dream. So I think the people on the ground that are supporting the mission, the guys in Mission Control, the women in Mission Control that are helping make sure that Mark and Mikkel are, all the systems are working properly, that their health and, and their, their psychological well-being is being taken care of from electrical engineers to medical doctors to psychologists to all these people on the ground that are, that are a support team to make this happen. And I think it's important that we let our kids know at an early age, and you know, I was probably four or five when I got that age and appropriate chemistry set, non-OSHA certified by my mom, but that unlocked my, my curiosity and it activated my brain to let me know that I can be a scientist at such an early age. So I think it's, it's really important that we focus on you know, um, adult and childhood literacy. We, we focus on giving kids projects and things that are connected to our planet that, that help them see their role in helping advance our civilization at an early age. Because if we don't start it early, they won't make the connections to the bigger things like what if a 10 kilometer diameter asteroid comes and hits our planet, what do we do then? So that's why we need to go and, and explore space and explore the oceans and explore, you know, saving our planet. My philosophy is all about STEM. It's, you know, the science and technology, engineering and mathematics, but I add an A in there for STEAM because the arts are so, so important. And if we don't continue to inspire people with the creative arts, with the visual arts, the, the writing, the poetry, you know, Star Trek was a, was a television show that inspired Carl McNair, Dr. Carl McNair, who was one of the first African-American astronauts to fly in space. It was Lieutenant Uhura that inspired him to be an astronaut. So we think about this, the artistic forms, the languages, all these things that are so important that bring our, our civilization together. It brings our cultures together. It's the, the thread that, that weaves between us and combines us into a, a civilization. So I think the arts are so important to STEM, and that's why I support STEAM.